did we get here? What's happened in the two years okay. between Human Revolution and Mankind Divided? Okay, well, in Human Revolution, Adam went on a journey. He had, was forced to become mechanically augmented against his will, and his choice was thus stolen from him. And he went on a journey to understand why and to gain his choices back. And at the end, after uncovering this huge conspiracy of mystery, he was put into a situation where a lot of the augmented, well, millions of augmented people all over the world were forced into these psychotic rages and started killing everyone. And he had to basically stop that from happening or, or mitigate it and then try and change the, the perception of people in a way that he felt society should go. And two years later, what he's realized is that that although he tried and he did get a message out to the world, the world, humans are a little more complex than that. Um, when you're faced with such a her terrible, tragic incident, you don't have time to listen to messages. You only live the experience. And when you have time to finally get back, suddenly there's so much counter information, there's disinformation, there are rumors. And as people, we tend to find and grasp onto the, the, the thing we believe to be true, whether it's true or not. So he basically starts this game two years later. See the world has become much more chaotic as a result of that event. Um, there's a huge growth of uh, anger and paranoia and racism against the augmented. Society has gone from being questioning this to dividing against it. Um, and he knows who's really behind it and, and he needs to stop them. So he's now become someone who has become much more focused. Um, he's no longer someone who didn't ask for it. He's now someone who is embracing what he has become. He's much more seasoned. He is much more in control of his own abilities, his own sense, and he's got a sense of purpose. And that is that I still have to make this right. And the way to make it right is to really expose the people behind it. They've worked from the shadows for years, shaping the future, manipulating lives controlling information. Innocents have died as they play their game. We will not sit idly by and allow our rights to be eroded out of fear and ignorance any longer. We will not be herded into ghettos and treated as outcasts. We will stop at nothing. The world is different now. The old rules no longer apply. The whole game isn't necessarily about Adam Jensen, isn't? The game's kind of more about us and about the real world, is that right? Yes. Uh, one of the things that is really important for us when we're creating a Deus Ex game is we want to hold up a window to the world. Uh, we want to show you it's a near future uh, fiction, so it is showing you where we're heading and, and throwing up that mirror so that we can look at it and see what's happening in our world and kind of decide for ourselves how we feel about it. So it isn't just about Adam, as you said. It's really about what does it mean to be human uh, when faced with a great deal of paranoia and racism against other people how do we handle that do we do we become very emotional do we become very reasonable do we do we hide ourselves in these things and are we looking at things in the world that are happening today that people's response to terrible tragedies um, people's response to anger and hatred to refugees to police going more and more against the people those are the kind of things we look at. So is our world destined to end up like Adam's world? Is that is that what you're saying? I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. Um, but it is all a choice, you know, where we go. When Certainly in terms of uh, when we worked on human revolution, we did a lot of research into, um, into biotechnology and where are we going with this. And a lot of what we saw is true. And we base it, we always try and ground our fiction in today's world. And people are becoming, they're getting getting these amazing technological advances that are enabling them to overcome these disabilities or, or, or you know, things that are happening. And it is being 
it is changing and mankind is changing because of that. How are we going to deal with that as we start seeing more and more of it in our world? I don't know. Hopefully not the way that it's being handled in human revolution and deus ex. Mankind divided. <laughs> this should be your fight as well, brother. <laughs> The promise of a golden age is over! <laughs>